Hey everybody, I'm Molly Stanbury and you're watching Mac Most, the video podcast that shows you how to get the most from your Mac, iPod, Apple TV, and iPhone iTunes 7.4 was released last Wednesday. This included support for ringtones. It also included support for you to be able to add your own ringtones for free just by changing the file name of a sound or a song. Apparently that was a mistake and Apple quickly released iTunes 7.4.1. It prevented this simple method of adding ringtones, but a slightly more complex workaround is still working, although this will probably be disabled as well. In the meantime, Apple has activated their official 99 cent ringtones in iTunes. So you can now purchase music and then pay another buck to make your own ringtones out of it. It took just 74 days for Apple to sell 1 million iPhones, but Steve Jobs intends to sell even more as the 2007 holiday shopping season gears up. As far as revolutionary products go, it took the iPod two years to reach the same milestone. Who knew we'd be so excited over a freaking phone? Is that $100 in your pocket? After Apple dropped the price of the iPhone to $399 last week, it felt some seller's remorse. Early adopters who paid $600 have been promised $100 back. In an open letter to iPhone customers posted on Apple's website, Steve Jobs offered a $100 store credit to anyone who bought before the price cut. I'm joined here by Gary to comment about the whole rebate controversy. What you got to say, Gary? Well, two months ago, we all stood in line and bought our iPhones. We did at that. We paid $600 for these things. We knew that was overpriced. But yet, two months later, really early, Apple dropped the price by $200, a third of the total price. And we're outraged. And everybody is outraged. All the early adopters who spent $600 are outraged that people can now get it for $400. Mm -hmm. And to all those people, I have to say, Get over it, okay? We knew what we were getting into when we bought this thing, when we stood in line. I mean, you're the same people that waited in line for a Star Wars movie all day, paying 10 bucks to go see it, and then you knew it was going to be at the Dollar Theater a couple months later for a buck, and nobody was going to be in line for it then. You know, back in my day, early adopters were a lot hardier. In 1983, we bought $10,000 Apple Lisa computers, and then a year later, they came up with the Mac for 2,500 bucks, and nobody complained then. So take it like a man. Get your $100 coupon and suck it up. Yeah. There, there you have it, folks. Suck it up. Right? Right. Suck it up. Spotlight is the powerful search engine that's included with Mac OS X Tiger, which searches for files on your Mac. One easy way to access Spotlight is to click on the magnifying glass icon in the upper right-hand corner of Finder. Another clickless way to access it is to press command space. If you have a tip that you'd like to share or a question you would like us to answer, email us at questions at macmost.com. In our podcast salad segment, Katie Bavard brings us a must-watch video podcast. Hi, this is Katie. This week, I bring you Play Value. Play Value is a show from On Networks that is your guide to gaming history. They retell stories that spawn today's multi-billion dollar gaming industry. If you've got warm fuzzies for Atari or the original NES, this will be a fond walk down memory lane. Nintendo and Atari. You would think these two video game pioneers would be the best of friends, but you really should not invite them to the same dinner party. Atari was synonymous with video games for a long time, the way Nintendo is now. And uh, they fell off their throne. They made some miscalculations. They made some bad decisions. And uh, they weren't the number one guy anymore. But Nintendo took on Atari's role, and Nintendo's success just, like, fueled the fires again. And gave Atari this last glimmer of hope that they could be back on top of the industry. If you use dashboard widgets, then you know how handy they can be. But where do you find the widget that you're looking for? Try Apple's own dashboard widget download directory. The directory is at apple.com slash downloads slash dashboard. Now you're sure to find a widget that you didn't even know that you needed. Hi, I'm Geek Girl TV's Eve Park, here with this week's MacMost Loot. I recently rolled out a fresh new line of geekware, available exclusively through Sticker Giant. Check them out. One randomly drawn winner of this week's Apple-related question will win this Go Click Yourself shirt, in a size of his or her choice. Two weeks ago we asked, 
What was the original selling price for the Apple Newton E-Mate 300? The answer is $800. Wow, that's like two iPhones. This week's challenge is, when speaking of Apple computer models, what is a TAM? Send your answers to loot at macmost.com for a chance to win a Go Click Yourself shirt of your own. Thanks for watching the MacMost video podcast. If you want to contact us or would like to sponsor an episode of MacMost, you can email us at podcast at macmost.com. Be sure to visit macmost.com for the latest Apple news. We post tutorials and tips to our website throughout the week where you can subscribe to the show. We've also got an iPhone version of the site and the largest collection of iPhone games by one company. So go check it out. Don't forget MacMost Review, our audio podcast. You can subscribe to MacMost and MacMost Review using iTunes, so tell your friends and please take the time to leave us a review. This is Molly Stanberry for MacMost. See you next week. I'd like to think that I add a little bit of comedy to the yes, act. Yes, you do add comedy. Kind of. Is that a little bit it over? Is. Very, it is. very Hollywood flattery. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't buy your Hollywood flattery, Jay. I'll buy it. All right. Okay. Two shots.